How can a non-native speaker get a full 90 in the PT writing? Is it possible? Yes, it is possible. And I know it because I've got it. In today's video, I'm going to share some of the top strategies that I applied to get a full 90 in my first attempt in the PT writing. So, let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome to Genesis Learning. My name is Noel and I'm one of the expert trainers here at Genesis Learning. If this is the first time you're coming to our channel, thank you so much for coming. In this channel, we do a lot of videos wherein we help students to get past their language barriers in different exams like your IELTS, the PT or the OET. So if you're new here, do consider subscribing and staying updated to all the different videos we are doing. So let's get started with what we're going to do. The first strategy is get familiarized with the different writing tasks. The PT basically has only two writing tasks and I have explained everything about them in detail in my previous video. Please click the link below to watch it. The second strategy is answer the question. Even though this is quite obvious and this is something that you have to do, a majority of students don't end up doing it. This is one of the major reasons why they are not able to achieve that brilliant score. For example, in the summarized written text, you have to make sure that you include the main points and also some additional points. If you include too many additional points, you will not get your good score. The third strategy is check your word count. Now in the summarized written text, they say you can write up to 75 words. However, you should try not to go more than 30 words because if you do that, that sentence is not valid. In the same way for the essay, you have to make sure that your word count is exactly as mentioned in the question. The fourth strategy is use a proper essay structure. Here at Genesis Learning, we teach you a proper structure, a four paragraph structure that will be more than enough to get you that score. If you have any other structures, go ahead. But please make sure that you have an essay structure properly laid out. The fifth strategy is use some uncommon words in your writing. If you are looking for that score above a 79 plus, then you have to show that your vocabulary is really good. You have to prove it to the computer that you are confident in the language and only then can you boost up your score above a 79 plus. The sixth strategy is to check your grammar. Grammar accounts for one third of your mark and you have to make sure that your grammar is on point. Apart from the verb tense, also check your punctuations, your spellings and even your capital letters. Remember, a capital letter comes only after a full stop. Give yourself enough time to read the passage a couple of times so that you can correct your mistakes. Don't be in a hurry to submit it. The seventh strategy is to use complex sentences. A complex sentence is when you combine two simple sentences with a subordinating conjunction. Learn how to do this because this will be very helpful, especially in your summarized written task. If you are still confused about how to create complex sentences, then we have the solution for you. Log on to our website www.mygenesislearning.com. There you can see the different packages for the PTE. Opt for the ones with the grammar and we can help you out how to create a beautiful and simple complex sentence. If you've got some value out of this entire video, please hit that like button. What we do here on this channel is just a tip of the iceberg and we have a lot of stuff that we have to give away. So please make sure you visit our website and drop us an inquiry. Feel free to share this video with your friends and also let us know your feedback in the comment section below. Till we meet again. For our next session, this is your tutor, Noel, signing out. Ciao.